It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. Known for some incredible wings and one of the league's most passionate fan bases. We're just outside of Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. And Brock, got a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their bell cow in that groove and get them going. Find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage, run after run, and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, Whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And we're off and running from Western New York. Julius Chestnut to return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So the Titans ready for their opening drive of the game. And then we let out by a player who had a string of wins to end his 2023 season. Now in his sixth year, Mason Rudolph. You know, I think a lot of us around the NFL wondered, was there more in the tank? Was Mason Rudolph's career on fumes? And then he just ignited those Steelers down the stretch. Winning three straight games, making the playoffs. Yeah, and keeping that streak of 500 seasons alive up in Pittsburgh. You know what he really showed? He really showed that when given protection, the guy can still spin a football. Looking to throw right away. Going deep right away. And what a way to get this one started, but his deep shot falls incomplete. Man, with how hard it is, Kate, to get these plays down the field, you can't let the coverage off the hook with a drop. It just can't happen. And you're going to see it right here. He saw the open space ahead of him and started running before he ever brought the ball fully in. First carry here for Tony Collar. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Third and a lone yard coming up. Again, a run with Pollard. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. You love a huddle? Okay, you really do. You love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward. There's some trust there. And he's going to get the job done. And he's going to get another shot, I would guess, down the line. Marcus reset. Ball at the 37. Pass play on first and 10. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And now it's second down. You know, in the NFL, offensive-minded teams will call it a perfect Friday. They don't want the ball to hit the ground once. And especially on these short to intermediate throws, you've got to count on those being efficient and effective. They don't complete a high percentage of these, but even the incomplete deep shots serve a purpose. It keeps the defense honest. Knowing that they overcommit close, they could get burned. No connection on the last play, and now it's third down. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. in this first half. You're just kind of waiting. Right? You just kind of try to get a feel for which defense is going to come to life. And when you get that sack, that could go a long way to infusing some energy on that side of the ball. The Titans sending out Ryan Stonehouse now on fourth down to in turn send a punt away. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. 
Looking to return from the 29. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to, and just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with a pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. He has it along the sideline, but he got a little too close to that edge. They're going to say he's out of bounds. We've got second down. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in, but out of bounds. First turn of the game for James Cook. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now the third down call that they have ready, they can stick it right back in the pocket for a later occasion. New set of downs for him from the 46. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Big game, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. First down, and they go right back to it. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. If there's ever a play we could call garden variety in the NFL, <laughs> I think we just saw it right there. That's an uneventful run and a pretty sound stop there defensively. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. They put a receiver in motion here left. Another one for Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. They kick the running back in motion. Allen on third down. That throw's knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And you ask a lot of your defenders on that field. It is not easy to play defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw, and he swatted it away with ease. Has the distance, but headed well left. No good. And we continue to await our opening score this ball game. Looked like the snap was good. No issues with the hold. Sometimes that plant foot it just slides on you a little. And these kickers, man, they are so finicky. One little breakdown in mechanics, and the kick winds up off target. So Tennessee headed out for its second drive of the game. Their last drive didn't make it very far before they had to punt it away, partner. So hopefully this one has some better legs to it. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it. First and ten. Airing it out to start this drive. He finds Tiga Kokro for the grab. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They go and play action. That's going to be caught, Tony Pollard. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. 16 yards on the play. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. 
Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Has him on a quick hitter. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They go play action here. Completed over the middle. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. A five-yard gain on the play. And the Titans will have a first down. Okay, I can promise you that's one of those play action plays they've left over the week. They're in practice. They're both quarterback and tight end. Went to bed last night thinking... Man, I hope this one's called. And when it is, I hope we have just a little space to operate. That play action works beautifully. And the tight end, the beneficiary. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. The one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. He's at the one. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans take a 6-0 lead in the first quarter. Tony Pollard with the touchdown. So our first score of the game here is they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game. Nick Folk now for the extra point. And the kick is good. And the Titans will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Ty Johnson now to return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Buffalo offense out there for their second drive of the contest. They can only set up a lengthy field goal attempt, their last possession, Brock. So some room to improve in how far they can advance the football here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Operating from the gun. It's Allen. It's complete to Holland. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. First down now. Ball at the 39-yard line. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And they'll bottle this up after a four-yard gain. Tackle made by Ernest Jones. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. You know, Kay, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. From the 43. 
complete to Shakir. This forward gets a couple of yards. Roger McCreary brings him down that time. Third and four coming up now. Pressure coming. It's Allen. Dumped off to his running back. And this one does not go far. Whether they meant to go to him or it was an adjustment on the fly, that's not the read that was going to beat this defense for a first down. That look, well, this crew defensively was prepared for and knew how to keep it short of the marker. So on fourth down, on comes Sam Martin to handle the punt for the Bills. Brings it in at the 12. And something on the return, but not much as it still ends inside the 20. The kicking team got downfield quickly there, and he didn't manage much on the return. And the Titans will get set to take over. Ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Out of the gun. He'll look to throw. This one finds Boyd. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. And he's swallowed up in the middle. No gain on the run. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Looks like no gain on second down, and that leads us to third and six. So close to a big loss of yards for those guys up front. One second sooner, and they're going to tackle behind the line. But a stop to celebrate nonetheless. Throw on third down. Completed to his running back. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Here comes the Titans punting unit. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And this one's away and looking good. Nice angle on this one, headed towards the sideline. And this one is out of bounds. No return on the kick. Buffalo sending its offense to the field. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. They've got first down from the 31. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. I think we got to be careful, and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burger. Because what can happen from that, Kate, is he puts some nice toppings on it. A play-action pass, a shot that comes down the road from what looked like a very plain play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That'll be complete to Hollins. And he's going to be blocked out at the 42. It's a pickup of nine yards. And that's good for a Bills first down. So before they can get set and snap it, the clock runs out on quarter one. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to Hotmark Stadium in just a moment.
We're back for the second quarter. Bills in possession of the football. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. Pass brought in by Amari Cooper. Going to up there. Looks like about six. Roger McCreary brings him down that time. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Eight yards on the gain, and the drive continues forward. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. Ball on the 45, first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He sends this one to the end zone. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Any DB prefers a highlight reel interception which just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Allen. Brought in by Hollins. And a nice game here, but it stops short of the first. Third down, one yard to go. Now the shotgun give to Cook. Continuing to dig, he's inside the 25. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. That's a BYOP. You gotta be your own blocker. It would have taken the entire defense piling on to stop him from getting that first down. Well done. All set up now for first and 10. Sending a receiver left. First down throw for Allen. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. continue to swarm over to get him at the line. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. Where one defender failed, well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and 10. Here's Allen. Hits him on the out route. And he takes this one down to the 10 before hitting that sideline. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Honest Tyler Bass for the Bills field goal try. A very short kick here from the right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. Okay, that may not seem like much. I right? just scored one for two as a kicker, but it's a whole lot different just psychologically for these guys to see one go through because they may need him at some point later in this game. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. On the return, here comes Tajay Spears. Good looking return here, and he's got room. And in great shape after that return, he's across the 35 before going out. We'll get another look at this Tennessee offense. 
They didn't add to their lead last time out. So they punched it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Good starting field position for the Titans. They've got it. First and ten. They're going to throw here to begin the drive. Oconco brings it in. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainers heading out to take a look. him in the slot it's an automatic mismatch advantage you train a little bit of speed sure but you sure do get a lot of size and anytime he's in the slot you gotta assume the ball's going his way trying to throw here out of the gun so a pass brought in and he's taken down directly on that 43 yard line it's a pickup of 11 and that'll be a tennessee first down You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. Looking sideline and caught by Ridley. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, short of the 15. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. That's pretty impressive, Kate. I mean, to have the awareness, the body control to not just secure the ball, but to keep both feet down on the sideline. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. Up the middle, here goes Pollard. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. We send a man in motion. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. That one complete to Hopkins. And he's able to get this down to the 13. Looking to throw. The throw is caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Ball at the two here for second and goal. They'll throw it. quarterback's eyes are going and we've got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away buckle up it's third and goal throwing from the gun here and pressure drives them backwards 
This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm. It's QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. So the Titans left with a fourth down, and we're going to see Nick Folk after the try. It's a 29-yard look right down the middle for it. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And add three to their lead as it extends to seven. In that close, kicks have to be automatic. That won't stop the head coach, though, from holding his breath for a couple seconds until he sees it's up and good. and James Cook making their way back out on offense now. And they take over down 10-3 following that score. First and 10 now from the 30. Riding from the gun, it's Allen. Throwing the out route complete. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little shorter than 35. Second and six coming up here. Man in motion headed right. From the 34. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Looking for his wide receiver there. And that means third down coming up. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Now Allen. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two and third downs are critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. Sam Martin on again now to punt it away. Jaquan Jackson, deep for the Titans. And he can't evade the cover team for Marsh. They stop him before he gets really anything on that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be their football coming up. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Still, he's got a huge gain and a first down. It's a gain of 27 yards to move the chains. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Gives a Pollard on the option. And he takes it past midfield and starts the drive into Bills territory. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. From the 47. Short pass caught by his tight end. 
get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Design bootleg here. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Looking for a throw here. Completed to Pollard. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. We've heard it said, and I believe it's in my core. Football is the ultimate team sport. And a well-run screen like that is the ultimate team play because it takes all 11 doing their job. To the line we go. They're set first and 10. They give to Pollard from the gun. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Okay, the two-yard run on first down, I think that keeps you ahead of schedule. You're going to have to pick up the pace. It's the two-minute warning now from Highmark. It's the Titans lined up with a second and eight. From the 21. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it, and win it with a touchdown. Folk on now to try the point after. And the extra point is up, and it is good. And the Titans double their lead to 14. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson with a return here. Oh, he's shown some burst on this return. And a great return has the offense just a touch shy of midfield as they start this drive. Possession switching back to Buffalo as their offense heads out. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Pressure coming, it's Allen. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Couldn't connect on first, it's second down. From the shotgun, it's Allen. That'll be complete to Hollins. And he's brought down right in the neighborhood of that 40-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably but then go to work after him. He keeps those feet in.
In a good spot here, second and inches. Allen gonna throw again. He finds Kincaid. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. Running back sent in motion. First and ten. Here's Allen. He's got this complete to James Cook. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. That was Harold Landry making the tackle. They'll come to the line here. Second and nine. To throw again, it's Allen. Complete, it's Cooper. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. The Bills are gonna go ahead and call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Third and a lone yard coming up. To the air again, Allen, complete beyond the marker. And they'll advance this down to the five-yard line. Time now taken by the offense, their second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Again, Allen to the air. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills make it a one-score game before halftime. Amari Cooper, the touchdown. Well, great work there, Brock. They weathered the storm, and now they've gotten themselves right back into this ball game. Anybody who's played this game has been here before. The game doesn't start the way you want. You're in a big hole, and all you can do is climb out of it. And the words of Pete Carroll resonate. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Bills chuck the lead in half, it's down to seven. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's Chestnut on the return. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Titans and Mason Rudolph about ready to get back to work on offense. And even 20 seconds left at their disposal on the final drive of this half. One of the tight ends motioning left. To throw here on first down. The Bills get close and they take it down. And a big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. the halfway point and the visiting titans taking a nice little lead to intermission now we'll send you south to orlando for a check-in around the league via jonathan coachman and the ea sports halftime report 
Coach, what you got for us? Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson now on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27. Now here's the Bills offense. They've got it first to begin the third. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. Cook calls it in. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. That pass, it did put him in a position where he had to shake a defender. That's all you want. Give me a one-on-one. -on -one. And he is capable of doing it, but not against that dude. Uh-uh, that defender could not be shook. And he knocked him back across the line. Now Allen off the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it and run. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Now we've got some whistles as a member of the Bills is shaken up and could use a look from the trainers here. They'll head up, first and ten from the 42. Allen to throw. Pass complete to Cook. And this is marked down right along that 40-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Slot man in motion left. First down throw for Allen. Connects with Cook. And he's stopped at the 31 yard line. You know, these running backs today, they are so versatile. It doesn't matter if they're running it, or in this case, same principle applies on routes out of the backfield. You don't get somebody close to him, that throw is headed his way. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Here's a give to Cook. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Hey, Kate, you want to see a picture in the football dictionary of staying on schedule? That was it. All right, set now. First and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Back to the air. Allen. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. All plays on the table here for third and three. Throwing with a blitz on the way. It's 
complete to Holly. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win, and there aren't a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. Allen falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. You know, the goal on a lot of these short throws is to simply let the receiver create some yards after the catch, that yak. Well, I think he was thinking about the yak before he actually secured the catch. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Back to throw now, Allen. And he's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills cut into the lead, coming out of halftime. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Rams make it 17 all. Chestnut on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Titans and Tony Pollard headed back out there offensively. Sure nice to have that safety valve. Sure nice to have a running back that not just able to tote it, Kate, but he's able to catch it. That's now multiple times they've looked his way, and multiple times he's delivered. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. He'll throw it. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. Successful, and they have third down here. He's going to throw this one. That one complete to Hopkins. Touchdown, Tennessee! The Titans grab the lead on their first series of the half. DeAndre Hopkins, the touchdown. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yep. Now, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find Payton. 
Polk with a point after. And the Titans break that tie and now lead by seven. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson with a return here. And look at this return. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Bills and quarterback Josh Allen ready to get back to work now on offense. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. They've got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, it's Allen. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39 yard line. Second and three now. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. Now Allen. Shakir with the ground. And he will score a touchdown Buffalo. The Bills can tie it up after hitting Pittard in the third. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. on for the extra point. Right down the middle. It's good. And the Bills tie this game up. Turn. Here comes Spears. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. The Titans ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. Back 
to throw. Setting up the screen. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rally, they pursue, and get that screen to a minimal gain. Let's see what they draw up on a third and seven. Back now, pressure on its way. That's caught for the first. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Titans will have a first down. From the gun, they go with Pollard. And he works his way for a gain of four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slayer, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you've got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. Second and six now. Completed to Pollard. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. Simply part of the job description for any running back in today's game. You're out there, you're going to be one of your quarterback's most important safety valves. And you've got to be ready for that check down at all times. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Looking to the air here. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Pickup of two here. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. That pitch and catch won't show up as a big play on the stat sheet, but it gives his own defense a little time to rest and gives an offensive coordinator a new set of downs to work with. Oh, looks like the defense got a little too excited there. That's going to be a penalty. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. They'll run here following the penalty. And that's good for a gain of five. And that's Gregory Russo who cleaned up that play. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. Options are open here. It's second and inches. to throw now. And no luck there. That throw falls to the ground. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that leaves him with third and short. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Oh, I love this. Giving it to the big guy on third and short. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. He's not their bell cow. He's not a breakaway type of runner, but he didn't need to be. He just had to get forward and reach the first down before the defense could pivot and stop him. Ball at the 33 for first down. Here's a throw. Pass cut by Ridley. He's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. Give him 13 on that play. And the Titans will have a first down. Working inside the red zone.
Trying the inside hand off to Pollard. The defenders are there to get him at the line. Terrell Bernard tracking that one down. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. Tight end motioning right. Throw on third down. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. You know, I don't mind the scheme. In fact, I like the call. Just not on that third down in particular. You need to get it closer to the sticks to have a chance to move those chains. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Spears running behind center. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. And that's a gain of 10. And staring at a turnover on downs, Brock, they pick up the first instead. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, we had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. Going well, jumbo set on his first and goal. Just a yard, so now it's second and goal. We're still time through three here. Neither defense has given an inch in this one. It's been a high-scoring game so far, but we're still tied. 24 all to begin the final frame. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. Throwing from the gun here. Looking for an open man. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. There was almost no resistance offered against the rush that came off the line ready to maul anything in sight. It was all the QB could do to get rid of that before he gets absolutely clobbered. take a fourth quarter lead well Brock not sure the play they were running was all that disguised but with the personnel they had out there it was gonna be tough to stop him either way yeah there's a great debate is it the X's and O's or the Jimmy's and Joe's <laughs> yep. no debate there that was the Jimmy's and the Joe's in their want to to run it right down their throat going after by Folk is up and good and the Titans break that tie and now lead by seven Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson now on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bills offense all set for their next drive. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't. Right, but this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They got to yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Working from the gun, it's Allen. This is Cooper working the left side. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. They gain 14 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Here's Allen. Connects with Cook. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. 
Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Cook. And he'll be brought down after getting to the 47 yard line. They get six and a first down as well. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you're going to be a pro bowler. Football on that 47 yard line, first down. They've got a man in motion. Allen now on first down. That'll be complete to Mullins. And he gets it across midfield and into Titans territory. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Now it's Cook. And not a lot of room for him as he's brought down. A couple yards on the run. It's third and six now. Operating from the gun. It's Allen. And that's incomplete. He's going to hold his young on to that pick there, but it's still going to bring up fourth down. Hey, Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. The Bills with a punt team out there. It'll be Sam Martin doing the honors. No return on this one. It's going to make it out of bounds and across the 25, spotted at the 24. The visitors, Darvin, led back out there on offense by their quarterback. Ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll come out throwing. Dumped off to his running back. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Second and six coming up here. On the ground, Pollard. Hits a seam at the 40. Down the sideline into the red zone. And he's finally taken down at the seven-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. He just didn't quite have the last bit of burst needed to finish it off. But don't be surprised to see them go his way again soon. We'll give him a chance to earn that touchdown. All set up for an insurance score here. It's first and goal. They send a receiver in motion right. They'll try with the wide out. And he stopped just a little short of the goal line. He's down to the two. First shot gets him five. Still a couple of looks remaining. It's second and goal. Receivers running the ball? Well, that's become commonplace in the NFL now. And that includes down here in the red zone. In close, a lot less space to work with. You really love your most elusive players to get their hands on the ball. Here's the give to Pollard. And he takes this one in for a Tennessee touchdown. The Titans go up by two scores as they try to put this one away. Tony Pollard with the touchdown. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you instantly think of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Full on now to try the point after. And 
And he sends the point after right through the uprights. And the Titans double their lead to 14. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson with a return here. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. drive will start out with a first and ten. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. He cuts it to the right sideline. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. What an injection of momentum for the offense in that one. With the energy boost and a much shorter field, I predict it's not going to be long, Kate, till they finish this series off. Things looking totally different after that last play. It's first and ten inside the opposing 30. Allen to throw. His quick throw knocked away incomplete. With all due respect to some of the great linebackers back in the day, to play the position today, man, you've got to be versatile. You can't just be a come up and stuff the run. you got to play coverage. And these defenses more and more rely on you to break up throws just like that. gets there to force a small loss. Well, they shoot the pass to try and bring up third and short via a little more conservative ground call, but it backfired. You know, the defense, they'll look for keys up front, and they fired off the line knowing a run was coming, and boy, they busted it before it could get back to the line. Allen on third down. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. Throwing now on first down, Allen. The throw is caught. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the 9. Way to the marker. It's second and five. Allen. He's got it. Touchdown, Buffalo. So he looks to and finds the big fella, and his tight end takes it in for six. Such a reliable weapon down in the red zone. It kind of reminds me like a point guard making an entry pass to that post player. Mm. When you trust your big people around you, and when a quarterback trusts his tight end like that, it makes a difference. Bass on for the extra point. The point after splits the upright. And the Rams chuck the lead in half. It's down to seven. And 
just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Here's Chestnut on the return. This return makes it up to the 25. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. He'll start this one on the ground, Pollard. And he found some running room for a nice game. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. And in motion left. Finds him on the crossing route. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They get 22 on that one. And that'll be a Tennessee first down. We hear about basketball on grass so much. So much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. Let's see how they attack this first down block from the 43. On the give, this is Pollard. And that's the one just a lone yard. That brings up second down. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. I don't know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Setting up a throw. Has the connection to Ridley. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And the Titans will have a first down. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. They go play action on first. Throw reeled in by Hopkins. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Titans feeling lucky with a seven-point lead. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's Pollard. And he's brought down for a loss. So quickly, the defense burns a timeout here. 157 remaining in the game. Plays on the table here for third and three. Right back to Pollard. Home to the right. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, I got to talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10 plus. You know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. A touchdown will put this one to bed. A few shots at it here, starting with first and goal. Motion man is the tight end here, going left. Pollard on first and goal. And he maneuvers through the middle for a gain of four. Buffalo calls it second time out of the half. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Fine again. 
again with Pollard. And he pushed for it, but they managed to stop him at the two. Now the Bills use their third and final timeout. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. Go up by two scores, 13 points in the fourth. Tony Pollard with the touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experience that a lot, but on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you can strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just a positive guy <laughs> in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You? And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. Folk on now to try the point after. And the kick is good. And the Titans double their lead to 14. Stonehouse now to kick this one away. Johnson now on the return. And this drive will start inside the 25. This offense running out for a new series led by their running back. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game. A little old school dominance on the way to a touchdown, Brock. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. They're out and set, first and ten. Throwing now. Hockey isn't holding up, they're able to drop it. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. We've learned how valuable sacks and a pass rush are in today's NFL. It's a bit surprising, isn't it, Kate? That that's their first sack of the game? but they found other ways to produce success on both sides of the ball, and they finally pick up a much-needed sack on that stat sheet. Trying to push it deep downfield. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. They were a huge chunk of field as the downs reset. One thing we don't have in football is we don't have that radar game. But if we did, Kate, this is the kind of play when you throw it that deep outside the numbers, it requires a serious fastball, serious arm strength, and he just showed it off. Here he is to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. You want to know why we see so many gray hairs, Kate, on these D coordinators we meet with? It's plays like that. These T coordinators hate quarterbacks that can escape the pocket, escape the blitz, and make you pay with completions. Looking to throw it. And this one hurts. Had a touchdown in his hands, but he couldn't hold on. Third down coming up. With how hard it is to get an open look downfield, can't let the coverage off the hook with the drop. Saw open space started running before he was able to watch the ball into his hands. To throw. to get this one back but now they've got fourth down just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm third down pass didn't work but the offense staying out there on fourth putting a receiver in motion here he goes gotta have this on fourth down this one's caught and he's short of the first after a mild game 
And they drag him down just in time. He's shy of that marker. We've got a turnover on downs. Well, I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? This offense headed out as we can look at their running back. And they have leaned on him to get this offense to the end zone in the game, and he's delivered. He's hit Pater three times. Part of a really nice game for him so far, Brock. Been returning good value on the looks that he's been getting. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They get to Pollard from the gun. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup, and they're going to have second and two next. So it's a win on the road for the Titans. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.